Hi, I want to make a mobile charger for my mobile phone. See, my cell phone doesn't hold charge for too long and it usually dies right when there is no charger available and I'm in the middle of sending an important text and everyone is waiting for my answer and BAM, it's gone. I have to wait for half an hour before I can get off the stupid bus and get into the office to realize they made a decision without me. Again! Now, there is actually a product out there which is basically a backup battery where you can plug your cell phone into and charge it. You have to always keep this battery charged and carry it around with you at all times in case you need to use it. For God's sake, if I had the discipline to charge another battery and carry it around with me at all times, I would just keep my cell phone battery charged. So I decided to make my own hand crank battery charger, but I didn't want to make a product from scratch, so I decided to use my hand crank flashlight. But I wanted to keep this one, so I went out to buy a new one and soon realized that this thing has become a rarity around here. All I could find was this little piggy flashlight from Looney Store. But right when my daughter realized what I was gonna do to it, she said, Dad, why do you want to kill this thing? It still works good. This is just a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so low quality, I get to keep it. But I'm not gonna use it anyways. The little piggy won't be able to provide enough juice. So I open my good flashlight here. You can see there is a dynamo and the voltage it creates goes to the full bridge rectifier right here. And the voltage is later used to charge this tiny battery as well as powering the LEDs. This battery is 3.6 volts. Having it on the circuit will limit the output voltage to charge the cell phone which needs 5 volts. So I'll have to take it out. I have the charger cable for my phone which I'll cut open. And then I simply connect the positive and negative lines to the output of the full bridge rectifier. The output voltage of the rectifier is not regulated, but I measured once that the cell phone requires somewhere between 300 to 500 milliamp of current for charging. And I don't expect this flashlight to be able to output that much current. So as soon as the cell phone draws the charging current, the output voltage of the rectifier will be limited below 5 volts. So it kind of self-regulates. Let's give it a try. There we go, the charger LED is on. Now it's off. Turning much harder now. Oh no, 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 I killed the phone. Did you say you killed your phone? No, I... Did you? Damn it, Mehdi! How much do we have to pay for your f ups? I was just making a video... all for your stupid videos and for what? Read comments all day and giggle? $500 is a lot of money! Who's gonna pay for that? Your comments? It's probably nothing, I'll fix it myself. Yeah, yeah, it will end up in the pile of things to be fixed! Don't you think I know your routine by now? God! What did I ever see? Yeah, I made a horrible assumption. See, the cell phone started charging and drew current. But then because the charging voltage wasn't stable enough, the cell phone disabled charging. And without any current from the charger, the stupid voltage jumped to something like 20 volts or higher and fried the charging circuit short. I guess I'll fix that later. What I need is an efficient 5 volt regulator to add to the output of the bridge rectifier, which is nothing but a DC to DC switching regulator. Here is a typical circuit of a Bach regulator. Fortunately, there are broken prototype boards at work I can cut a regulator from. Here we go. Now I solder the regulator to my charger. And it's done. Let's check the output voltage. See? A nice 5 volt regulated output. Such an idiot. Should have done it from the beginning. Since I don't have a phone anymore, I borrowed an old iPhone from my beloved mother-in-law. I'm gonna try to charge this one. Now I have to cut the charger cable again. And solder these to the output of my regulator. Let's start cranking. It's not charging. Ah, what's wrong? Apparently with iPhones, you also need to bias the USB data lines to somewhere around 2 volts. I just need some resistors. I decided to cut a USB extension cord so that I can plug anything to my charger. Let's cut it. I solder the connector and the resistors to my regulator. Now we just shove in and hot glue everything in place. And voila! I have a flashlight with a USB charger. Let's try to charge again. <laughs> hey, it's charging now! Now let's try my wife's new iPhone. Let's try it out. 
It's working! Can he charge a GoPro? Let's try it. Oh yeah, it charges everything. It's a universal flashlight and charger. You can take camping with you. <laughs> I'm a genius. It only took me one cell phone and two charger cables to make this. <laughs> oh. If you need your hands free to use your phone, you can use your kit. Here you go. Crank away. Why don't you plug it here? 